What's up? Toroge Pro here. And we are going to do port forwarding with BFSense. Let's try to explain how this port forwarding works. Or why do you need port forwarding? This is a simple diagram of how the internet works. We have our WAN where we have our public IP and then behind our router is our private IP wherein these are all our devices. Now if we are planning to do port forwarding, there's one thing we want to accomplish. So for example, we have a CCTV camera inside our house or office. Now if you want to access that one outside of your network or remotely, you need to configure port forwarding with your router. Now take note that on your WAN wide area network, you have a public IP. And with this public IP, we can access device inside our network having its own private IP. Not only with CCTVs, we also can do this one with web servers. If we have web servers here, we want to host our own web app, we can do this one. Just make sure to have the right IP address of your server and the port number where this is running. Even with file servers, you want to run your FTP server at your own office or at home, you can do that. And access that one from the outside, yes, it is possible. Those are the examples we can do, but... Uh, there are a lot of things we can port forward that we really need from the outside. That's where we can use port forwarding. So let's get started with our configuration. Okay, before we start with the configuration, I want to show you our setup. So this is my WAN. I have my IP address here, my public IP, and this is my LAN. We're in my private IP. Now before we go there, I want to show you my server that is running a FTP server in a web server. As our example this is my server right now I'm running SAMP here um, Apache running a web app and at the same time FileZilla for FTP and let's try to check that one I'll open up my browser so this is my web app I can access behind my router and at the same time if we try to, uh, to do my FTP FTP this is the FTP running now we want to port forward this one so that we can access that one outside of our network let's see that one again so this is the example. I have my file server and web server here. And I want to access that one from the outside. I can only access that one inside of my network. After we have configured port forwarding, we can access that one with our public IP. So let's go ahead. Here's my PFSense. Let's go ahead on our firewall tab and go for NAT. Once we are, we're in NAT, we go ahead and add. When the, the interface should be one, protocol would be TCP source. Source would be just just leave the source out there. Destination will be any. We can put that one any destination port range for HTTP that would be there. That's port eighty, and then the IP address of the server that is running that web app. So that would be ten. That ten. That ten. That two fifty. Okay, and what would be the Redirect target port range, the same, HTTP. And description, this would be my web server. And then we can save this one. Apply. So you have it there. Uh, then we add the FTP also because we have two, right? The TCP, we have there. And destination port range. Uh, a destination will be any and then let's put this one to H, uh, FTP that's port 21 or FTP for HTTP it's port 80 or just select HTTP redirect IP the same but if you have a different server for FTP you can use the, uh, you use that IP address 10 the 10 the 10 that 250 it so happened to me that my FTP server is the same with my HTTP server. Now on our redirect target port range, the same. We select your FTP. Description will be FTP server. Okay. And then save. Apply. So you can see it here. This is the one that you have created. We can also see this one on our firewall. Let's so go to our firewall rules. We can see that one also. There you go. Let's try to access this one on the public IP that we have with PFSense. Now my public IP starts with 122.11. Now I don't want to show you the whole IP I have because it will be a security risk. So you, you just look at this one, 
I'm going to go to another PC that is outside of this one. So let's try to see that image again. I'm going to use another computer outside of this router. We're going to access the HTTP server and FTP server by using the public IP. Uh, this is the computer we have. We are going to use this one to access that HTTP server. I'll just go ahead and dial the public IP here, 122.11.blank. You can see I have my web app running already here. See that one? So that's how you access your web app from the outside. Now, if you want to have a domain name, you just go ahead and configure your domain name to point to your public IP from here. Now, that's how you configure your port forwarding with your PFSense. Now, port forwarding is always available all routers. You just find a way how to configure that one and you can host your own web app, FTP servers, media servers. If you want this one to be accessed outside, that's how you do it. Now, this is Toroge Pro. Until next time, if it's your first time in my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe, like my videos, and comment down below. I hope you have learned something from this video. Goodbye.